Hey guys, I'm Marshall Spark and I am Middle Tennessee's VA loan expert. And I want to talk to you real quick about minimum property requirements on a VA loan. It's probably one of the biggest concerns I get from real estate agents is, oh, this property may not go VA. Listen, if a property is going to go FHA, more than likely it's going to go VA as well. There's only about five certified appraisers in Middle Tennessee that can do VA loans, that can do the appraisals. These guys are super professional. They're all very experienced and they're all really good appraisers. So the things that you're going to look for is just like FHA, exposed wood, handrails on the side. They want to make sure there's no safety concerns, that the house is habitable, the roof's not leaking with big holes in it and big holes in the wall. Just the basic stuff you look for. So typically I tell a realtor, if you do a quick walk around the house on the outside and on the inside, then nothing really is a big red flag to you. Uh, you know, if there's any big gaping holes in the, in the uh, siding or in the brick, uh, you know, foundation issues, you're probably not going to have a problem. So VA appraisals typically come back on value as long as their sellers aren't really testing the market. I don't see any issues with values coming through on VA appraisals. So that's my thoughts. Don't be afraid. The VA does have a huge set of guidelines on minimum property requirements, so it's quite extensive, but it is very vague and it's about the same as, as HUD has outlined. So don't be afraid of minimum property requirements on VA loans. I'm Marshall Sparkman, Middle Tennessee's VA loan expert. I'm out.